First this noon time, we're following the guilty verdict for Aaron Hernandez. After he was led out of the courtroom yesterday, he was brought to a maximum security holding facility. That's MCI Cedar Junction in Walpole, Massachusetts. However, that is not going to be his final home for the duration of his sentence. Again, that's life without parole. He is expected to be moved to another facility elsewhere in Massachusetts. And the former pro athlete can also look forward to another criminal trial. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now with the latest on what's next for Hernandez. We know Aaron Hernandez does not have a cellmate right now. According to a spokesperson for the Department of Correction, that's protocol for any incoming inmate. Convicted killer Aaron Hernandez beginning his life sentence in Walpole. Soon the former Patriot star will be transferred to his permanent home, the Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center in Shirley, Massachusetts. As he sits behind bars, Hernandez will be preparing to face two more murder charges. I remember the... My son, my feeling is very, very bad. Hernandez was scheduled to go on trial in Suffolk County in May for the deaths of Daniel De Abreu and Sefiro Furtado. The men were killed in a drive-by shooting in Boston South End in July of 2012. The upcoming May 28th trial date has been canceled. A spokesperson for the DA's office tells me they expect a new trial date to be set in the coming days. The victim's father say they're confident they will find justice. Justice and America is very strong. Suffolk County prosecutors say their case is strong. They say they have the gun and eyewitness and surveillance video. Aaron Hernandez's murder conviction for the death of Odin Lloyd triggers an automatic appeal. As Hernandez's attorneys were leaving the courthouse yesterday, they declined to comment about the case. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.